Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Got the D-Man here and I'm glad you could join me today. It's nice weather here today compared to two below last week. Hey, it changes quickly here in Missouri. If you don't like the weather here in Missouri, stick around for a while. It'll change. That's what we say. Okay, today's topic is going to be game. Ah, but first I want to thank all my subscribers and my new subscribers. Got a shout out to my friend Josh that works at Walmart. Glad you're listening and I'm glad to hear that it's helping you. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Okay, back to the topic. Game. What is game? My opinion of game is this. Game is who you are. Everybody has game. Some people have poor game. Some people have good game. It's a way of being, not so much a way of acting. People put so much importance on getting a girl, chasing a girl. You got to have game to get a girl. Well, that's true, but really you got to be the game. And when you be the game, it becomes natural for you. And the way you become the game is by not focusing so much on the game. Yes, I know I'd say, uh, what do they call that? It's, uh, I want to say ironic, but that's not, well, it is kind of ironic, but it's a, uh, I can't think of the word. Counterintuitive, that's not it either. But anyway, you have to be at a point in your life where you're focused on your mission, your purpose, your goals. As a man, that's what men do. And when you really put that first and foremost, game comes natural. It's secondary because you lose that neediness or that importance. Women become less important. When you put your God or your higher power or whatever you believe is what takes care of you, higher self, put that first, your mission, your purpose second, and women third. Yes, yes, contrary to what popular society tells you never ever put your woman first that is the beginning of game right there is putting less importance on women and more importance on your mission your purpose because that is what's going to bring you fulfillment not having that beautiful girl i don't care how beautiful she is or how great she is six months or a year She's going to become a regular girl, and she's not going to look that beautiful to you anymore. Love or lust or desire sometimes blinds us to what people really are because the outer appearance that you see is just a masquerade of who they really are. They may be a wonderful person, but we all have flaws. We're all human, and if you put someone up on a pedestal, then you actually have no game because she has become your game or your God or your higher power or your main focus in life and that is a bad place to be. So if you want to have good game and you want to be the game, you need to focus on your mission, your purpose, your goals. I say that over and over again because it's so vitally important. Even men like me, <laughs> I have met a girl, beautiful girls, and been with them for a while and sometimes they become less important sometimes they became too important and the times when they became too important to me when i really put a lot of effort into them because i really appreciated them i really thought a lot of them thought too much of them they don't like that they feel as if you're putting them on a pedestal like like they are the most important thing in your life and even if you can walk away, when you find out they start disrespecting you, because they will start disrespecting you, they will start testing you. Even if you tell them, hey, if you don't straighten up, I'm going to be gone. Doesn't matter what you tell them. And in game, you don't want to tell girls anything overtly. You need to show them through your actions, covertly. They want to figure it out by their imagination, by their imagined feminine intuition. Men are not, uh, women are not like men. A man, you can straight up tell a man, hey, this is how it is. This is what's going to happen if you don't do this, this, and this. They'll understand it. They'll either abide by it or they'll walk away from you right then and say, you know what? I'm not going to go along with that. Women aren't like that. 
If you tell them that, they'll agree with you. Okay, honey, yeah, I won't do that anymore. But they'll continue to do it until you show them. Okay, so how do you show a woman something? How do you get a woman to understand your perspective from her point of view without you coming out and telling her directly like you would a man? Okay, let's say you're going out to eat and you're at the restaurant, you're having a good time and you have a male waiter. Okay, and the waiter comes up and you see your girlfriend looking at him with that look in her eyes like she likes him. Okay, and she kind of smiles and she flirts with him a little bit. And obviously, you know what's going on. Okay, now you can directly say, you know what, I don't like that. Don't flirt with the waiter again. And she might say, oh, I wasn't flirting with him. First off, you don't argue with it. You just say your piece, that's it, okay? Let's say the waiter comes back with the food. She continues to do it. You don't say another word. You withdraw your attention. Now, you don't sit there and act like you're hurt or bummed out or anything like that because then that makes you look weak. But you go ahead, you have your dinner, and you just take her home. Don't go make love to her that night. Just take her home. I said, well, what's wrong? She'll say, what's wrong? Well, I thought we were going to, uh, I thought we were going to come in and be with me tonight. I don't feel like it. I have some work to do at home. You just go home. All right. And she may even say, well, was it because of that waiter back at the restaurant? I have to go. I'm busy. All right. I got things at home I need to do. I'll see you later. Goodbye. You walk away. You don't argue. You don't tell her. Let her figure it out, and then you withdraw your attention. If you usually call her every day, you don't call her the next day, or you don't text her. She texts you, you just say, I'm busy, or you don't answer her text. Let her figure it out. This is how you get her to stop that type of behavior. Now, if she doesn't stop, then you withdraw your attention completely. You walk away and you don't look back. Well, it's hard not to look back, I know. But you walk away, you don't contact her again. I've done it before, more than once. It's tough, but you gotta do it. At least you walk away with your, how do I say it? With your balls in your hand. That's the only way I know how to say it, as a man. Okay, and I'll guarantee you, she will come looking for you, or she'll have someone else contact you. She'll come back, and then you'll have the opportunity to be with her again, if you should choose, but, if you're doing the right thing, which is work on yourself when you walk away from girls like this, because you allowed it to get to that point. If you were in control of the frame and you were being the man that you need to be, she wouldn't have been flirting with that uh, waiter in front of you, okay? She would have no desire to even look at another man because <clears throat> I've been there before. I've been on both sides of the deal. I've had women that when I was being the man that women love, which is the man that can have any woman he wants, I had three girlfriends, Steady, and other girls I was sleeping with, and they all knew that I was doing this. I didn't overtly put it in their face, but they all knew. Those girls respected me. They admired me. They would do anything for me. They would leave their family for me. Some of them did. Some of them betrayed their family for me. Some of them uh, left their country for me. Okay, now that's the one side. That's when you're doing game. That's when you are the game, okay? None of those girls were the most important thing in my life. Sure, I liked them, but they could all be replaced. I actually even told a couple of them, I said, hey, you know, when they were acting up, I'd say, hey, you can be replaced. And then I would withdraw my attention. That's what they understood more than you can be replaced. So as a man, you have to be the game. And the first step in being the game, as I said, well, I'll give you the example. In the first part of my life, my motorcycle, my freedom, my riding, my traveling in the country was the most important thing in my life. There was no girl that was going to stand in between that, what I wanted to do, and me. No way. Okay. Then I became an amateur boxer, then a professional boxer. That was more important than any woman. And during these times, I had women chasing me down. I mean, actually in a car chasing me down. I had one chase me one night, and uh, she never caught up with me. The police pulled her over before she got to me. I've had women leave notes on my car. They call me. I mean, this is the way it is when you are the game. Now, I'm going to go to the other side of that when I got to be about 30. And I looked back on all the women I had been with, and I felt like I had really been selfish. 
So what I did was I threw the baby out with the bathwater, as we say here. I threw everything out the window. When in reality, a lot of the things I was doing when I was with these girls were the right things. They were the things girls were attracted to, that they admired, that they wanted in a man. And I was very dishonest with them, so that wasn't one of the things. I blatantly lied to them, okay? So now in business and other aspects of my sporting life, my business life, I was extremely honest. But in my personal life, I was very dishonest. See, that came from fear of not having not being able to manage all these girls. But what I've realized in my later years is I didn't have to lie. I didn't have to tell them. If they would ask me if I was being with another girl, I didn't have to straight out tell them. I just didn't have to answer. They really don't want to know. But they want to know that the man they're with can have other women, that he has options. You don't have to understand that as a man, okay? That's just how women are. Don't listen to what women say they want Watch, see what they're attracted to. See the type of man they're attracted to. The type of man they stay with. The type of man they respect. Watch that. Pay attention to that. Learn from that. Okay? But when I became this other man who tried to be what society tells us, you know, be good to the woman, treat her good, be stable, go to work, be a good father, be a good husband. I went through three divorces all three of these women um, slept around on me. They disrespected me, um, and I walked away from them. You know, I took it a long time, and I finally just walked away from them. And every one of them, I could have had back too. They all came back wanting to be with me again. But by that time, it was too late. They screwed it up. I gave them every opportunity to straighten up, but they didn't. But how did it get to that point? It got to that point because I tried to... Uh, treat them the way society tells us to treat women, to be steady, to be dependable, to be the good father, to be the good husband. Okay, the way they tell you to try to be that is not really what women want you to be. You can be steady, you can be dependable, you can be the good husband, but if there's a girl flirting with you at the restaurant and you're with your wife or girlfriend, don't apologize for it. Go along with it. She wants to know that other women want you. She wants to know that you can have other women. She wants that competition anxiety. That's what they call it. I thought that that was being bad to them because I wouldn't like that. So I was trying to live by the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Well, women don't want to be treated the way you as a man want to be treated. So just throw that golden rule out. I say it like this. Treat women the way they want to be treated. Treat women the way they want to be treated, what they like, what they react to, what they're attracted to. And that is not the way you want to be treated. So the golden rule is a little different when it comes to women. You need to remember that, okay? Women don't want to be babied. They don't want to be pampered. They don't want to be treated like a queen. Even if they say that, that's not what they really want, okay? They say they want a nice guy that'll take care of them and bring them flowers. And there's a time and a place for that. But once in a while, very sparingly, do you do that, okay? Because they will be bored as hell with you and they will despise you as a woman despises a rapist. I know that sounds strange because that's not what you're taught in this society. But that's the way it is, okay? <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Hope this has been of help to you. Share it with a friend, subscribe, smash the like button, and leave a comment in the comment section. Have a great day.